This is a historic moment, guys, because I have built the most advanced AI appointment setter for my client Jordi, who has almost 100,000 followers. And in this video, we will jump into this whiteboard and I will show you everything how we generate leads for Jordi, how this AI appointment setter exactly works, and all the other things you need to know as a business owner, a coach, or a creator who is trying to sell something to their audience on Instagram. So watch this video all the way until the end because I will show you my entire system and it's gonna be really, really educational for you. Just to show you some proof and results first, we have already generated a bunch of money for Jordi. This is just from April, 8K, which is not a lot. We can do more, but it's not bad. Jordi waking up to qualified calls, booked into his calendar through the AI bot, obviously has already made back the investment multiple times over. But who is Jordi? Jordi has almost 100,000 followers on IG. He basically helps men optimize their testosterone levels. He's a testosterone increase coach. So basically he helps guys like this inject more steroids into themselves and become bigger maybe in the nipples too no i'm just i'm just kidding so basically what he does is hormone optimization he helps guys with low energy low libido hair loss weight loss etc and this is the kind of um, results that he's generating for his clients and this by the way guys is going to be really important these testimonials for a later part of the video and as well, in the later part of the video, I will also show you how you can test the AI setter for yourself if you wanna see how this works in action. So we have a lot to cover, but let's start with lead generation. How do we generate leads for Jordi? He is really strong organically on his Instagram, as you can see. And we have three different ways to trigger the AI appointment setter and generate leads. The first one is the DM keyword. So basically, Jordi has a bunch of Instagram reels and stories where people have a keyword that they need to text. And then also this one here, info. And this keyword is going to then go into the funnel and trigger the AI appointment setter. But this is not the only way. A really, really successful way of generating leads is a comment keyword. As you can see, Jordi has crazy engagement on his post because he does something really, really smart. What he does is in his reels, he offers a lead magnet for free. So if people comment blood, they will receive in the DMs a lead magnet. This is a ManyChat automation. And then what we do is we wait 45 minutes and we do an automated outreach with the AI setter. So this would be something like, hey, hope, you could take a look at the guide or whatever the lead magnet was. And then the AI setter would also ask, is it cool if I ask you a few questions to see if I can help you any further? And then this also goes into the AI setter and then the AI setter will start talking to these people. And also there's a third way to generate leads, which is basically manually turning on the AI setter for these leads. So. Jordi has a bunch of followers every single day and he has a human setter who is basically more like an AI operator. So it's more like an AI operator at this point. And basically this human setter can reach out to all the new followers every single day and turn the AI on for them manually. So this is the third way we put people into the funnel which all go to the AI setter who then has her conversations with them. DMs, comments, and manually turning on the AI. You know, here obviously we could do like, you know, like DM ads, oops, DM ads, and any other type of form to generate leads, but this is how it works for Jordi organically so far. And then let's look at the AI appointment setter because I'm gonna reveal to you the entire blueprint and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do these absolutely new features which not a lot of people have on the market. So basically, the AI setter has a knowledge base. The AI setter is fully aware of what is happening. The AI setter knows why this conversation is happening. This is in the Instagram DMs, people are interested, they are texting, commenting, etc. The AI setter also knows Jordi's method. It knows the program. If people ask about the program, the AI setter knows it has basic objection handling skills as well. And it has a unique response style which makes it sound human, which doesn't sound robotic, and it's a little bit similar to the way Jordi communicates to people. It's a little bit more professional, that's what Jordi asked me to do. And basically, if you want to try this AI appointment setter for yourself, you can do that. You can go on my Instagram right now, at Martin Four. the link to my Instagram is in the description. DM me the word start demo, this is the trigger for the AI setter, and basically after this trigger, 
the AI will send you a few instruction messages. So it's gonna be a fitness coaching demo. Basically here are your instructions. And here, if you just say hi, the AI setter will start talking to you. So just act like a lead and then answer the questions that the AI setter is asking you and it will try to book you in for a call in the end. So go on my Instagram after watching this video and try it out. So, but let me show you the exact blueprint of Jordi's AI appointment setter. So when people opt in through the DM keyword, comment keyword, or manual outreach, the conversation with the AI setter starts. Maybe I will make it a little bit like more bold. Like here's how the conversation starts. And first, the AI setter would just do a little intro like, hey, is it cool if I ask you a few questions? People say, yeah, sure. And then it moves on to goals. What kind of changes would you like to see? Why, like, why do you want to increase your testosterone, etc.? It also digs into the pain points, like what symptoms do you have? Is it low energy? Is it hair loss? Is it low libido, etc.? And then it does a financial qualifier. So the way we financially qualify people, and this is the first top secret that I'm going to reveal to you, is this. The AI setter would ask in the conversation, how old are you? Where are you based? And what do you do for work? And if people give an answer to this, we either qualify them or disqualify them. So if let's say lead number one here says, I'm 35, I'm from the USA and I'm a lawyer, then what we do is this entire conversation, not just these two messages, but the entire conversation between the lead and the AI setter goes to ChatGPT and ChatGPT evaluates based on this information, is this lead likely to have the money for Jordi's program or not? And if it's a 35 uh, USA person, they probably have the money, so they continue the conversation with the AI. But if there is another lead, if there's another lead who says, hey, I'm from India, I'm a student, 21 years old, and Jordi has a lot of those, that's the curse of organic content, then again, the AI will analyze this entire conversation and come up with, okay, they probably don't have, I don't know, thousands of dollars for the program and they disqualify these people. So that's how we financially qualify people here in the conversation. That's the back end. Now let's move on because we have a bunch more to cover here. We have some more top secrets and then we move on to even another complete chapter. So after we did the financial qualifier, what we do is a smart testimonial. So I'm telling you, that nobody on the market so far has come up with this smart testimonial um, feature. And I'm gonna pull the curtain back and show you how this works as well. So, smart testimonials, what we do. In the conversation, when we do this goals slash pain points part, you know, we, the AI setter will obviously ask something like, what's your number one challenge? What do you struggle with, etc.?" And then, you know, the different leads are going to give different answers. So again, a chat GPT um, agent is going to analyze the entire conversation, determine what is the number one pain point or the number one goal of the lead. And if they struggle with hair loss, it's literally going to send them this, this uh, testimonial in the DMs along with some messages. But if the person, like let's say lead number two here, wants to build muscle, then ChatGPT comes up with, we need to send him this testimonial because this is what's gonna be relevant for him. And if they struggle with the weight loss, then we're gonna send them the weight loss uh, testimonial. So basically, depending on the answers that people give in the conversation about their goals, pain points, challenges, etc., the AI setter is able to come up with a relevant testimonial, send it to them in the conversation, and then continue the conversation. That's the smart testimonials. We have one more thing here to follow up. So I'm going to show you after we are done with the process. We create some urgency in the conversation, like, hey, how important it is for you to finally make a change, blah, blah, blah. But after we have done that, we do a call invite. So would you like to hop on a call and see if we can help you solve whatever, ha your hair loss problems? And once we have done that, we're going to send them the Calendly link and send a notification to the human setter because the entire next chapter is going to be about the human handover and how we make the AI agent and the human operator working together and increasing the productivity of the employee. That's what we're going to talk about next. And of course, guys, I mean, if you are in the game and you have done appointment setting for yourself, you know that people ghost 
all the freaking time. And we need to do follow-ups. That's the last top secret. How do we do follow-ups in this process? So if let's say the lead ghosts in the conversation, we have two follow-ups. The first one we send after six hours. The second one we send in 23 hours. We cannot do any more follow-ups after 24 hours. That's an Instagram rule. Everything that we do here follows the rules of Instagram through Go High Level, and we cannot send any more automated messages after 24 hours. So a human being can follow up here. So I would just write here like follow up three manual done by a human at, after let's say 48 hours. But what we do if a person ghosts is we first send this follow up message. By the way, these are not our real follow up messages. I just put them here as examples. So we send this first follow up message. Hey, are you there? If the person still doesn't reply, we send the second follow up message. Would I would love to hear back from you. And then let's say after this second follow up message, the lead finally responded and the conversation continues. At this point, we have used up these first two follow up messages. Conversation continues, but then the lead ghosts us again. Then we're going to use another follow up message. So it's not robotic. It's not repetitive. This follow up message is used. Let's say the lead responded. Oh, sorry. I was taking a shit. Conversation continues. Conversation goes on, but then the lead maybe ghosts again before being booked in. And now the AI has to follow up again. Now it's going to send this third follow up message after six hours. And if it's maybe the night, the person still doesn't respond, then it's going to send the second follow up of the second round. So basically we alternate uh, between a bunch of different follow-up messages. And if we have used up all of our follow-up messages from round one, then it's basically going to clear out the first round. And if they ghost again, so if they ghost multiple times all the time, we're going to use follow-up one of the first round again and then move on to this one. So basically we alternate through a bunch of different follow-up messages to make sure it's not repetitive, to make sure it's not robotic and people can't tell that this is an AI. So that's how we do the follow-ups. And the most important thing is once we have sent the Canon link, we notify the human operator, the human setter, and then there's an entire chapter about the human handover. So AI setter finishes the objectives. We send them the Canon link. Two things happen. One, we send the human setter a phone notification. This is literally how it looks like. It's from go high level. Hey, this person is about to book a call. Make sure that, you know, like you, you do something about it. This is the name of the lead. So if they click on that notification, it takes them to the lead inside of go high level. And we also write a task for the setter. Here is literally a screenshot from Jordi's account from the tasks. This is literally the people who we need to follow up with or who the human setter needs to follow up with. Verify the lead, book the call. Verify the lead, book the call. So if you click on this column here on the first person, second person, it will take you to the conversation. The setter can read through that conversation and make sure that the person is actually booked in. So basically what the setter does is it verifies the lead. It reads through the convo sees if it's a high quality person, has the money, is actually interested, you know, if it needs some more further qualification about the price and et cetera, the setter can do that manually. It can finalize the call or even it can happen that the AI setter sends the link to someone who is maybe not so much financially qualified and they book the call. We can just cancel those calls to make sure that the salesperson doesn't attend. And of course, before the call, some lead nurturing, extra follow-ups, etc. So that's what basically a human setter does after the AI did the heavy lifting. And what is really important here, guys, is if we compare the two scenarios, a human setter without the AI bot and the human setter operating an AI bot, here's how it's going to look like. Let's start with the human setter without the AI. On a daily basis, these are the tasks that they will need to do. And uh, you know what? I will just reveal to you here what's coming. Look, let me just pick the color here. Yes. So a human setter without an AI does the outreach, which is a low leverage task. 
asks the same exact questions every single time, which is a low leverage task, talks to a bunch of broke leads and tries to qualify them and find out do they have the money, low leverage tasks, sends the same exact copy paste follow ups to everyone, which is a low leverage task. And finally, booking the call and nurturing the lead is finally a high leverage task that they do. But on a daily basis, most of the work that your human setters do are low leverage. Now, on the other hand, when you have a human setter operating the AI, it's going to be a completely different story. Because compared to the previous uh, scenario, there are, some, there are some changes. Yes, sure, the human setter has to do the outreach, which is not really a high leverage thing because the AI cannot do it. Again, this goes against the rules of Instagram. We follow the rules of Instagram and yeah, but the AI setter does the qualifying questions. The AI setter talks to all the broke leads and filters them out automatically. When they ghost, the AI setter sends the automatic follow-ups on its own, doing its thing. So the human operator can just focus on actually booking in those calls after the calendar link has been sent, just looking through the tasks and just talking to leads who have gone through the entire conversation and book them in and maybe handle their objections, maybe nurture them. So what this does, what the AI setter does is it makes sure that the human person has much higher leverage on their work. So if you are an Alex Hormozy fanboy and if you want to create leverage, that's what the AI does. It creates leverage for your human employees. That's what, that's what it does. And that's what we do for Jordi. So if you want to try out my AI appointment setter, again, I know that your phone is on your desk right now. Take it out, go on my Instagram at Marton4, DM me this start demo keyword, be this guy right here, and you will get these first instruction messages. And after that, you literally just type here, hello, hello, and the AI setter will start talking to you. It will start qualifying you. It will start asking you questions to so try to book you in for a call. So act like a lead and be a nice person. Talk to the AI, try it out, DM me on Instagram. And if you didn't like this video, I'm really sorry. You're not welcome to subscribe. So see you guys.